Hi, I'm Colin and I'm producing a series of videos to help set up and get the most from the Hubson Xeno Pro. Part 1 will cover how to connect the controller, X Hubson app and the drone, followed by initial settings like GPS lock, compass calibration, horizontal calibration and finally gimbal calibration. The Hubs and Xeno Pro will then be in a safe and ready state for flight. Step 1. Before powering up the Hubs and Xeno Pro, check the drone for any breakages, loose fittings, chipped propeller blades and also the security of the blades. Also do not forget to remove the gimbal guard. Step 2. Power up your smartphone. A word of advice, do not use a 32-bit smartphone such as the Samsung Note 4 etc. These will connect, though you will suffer USB disconnects and poor functionality. I tried it and have learned from experience. I now only use a dedicated Samsung S6, which was the cheapest 64-bit second-hand smartphone that I could find. It was £64 from eBay. Install the x Hubson app and when first opened, set up an account. This will allow you to access your flight logs and find my drone feature. Also worth noting, especially with Samsung Android phones, is to calibrate the phone compass every time it is switched on, as the settings are lost when powered down. In the dial screen, press star hash zero star hash. This gets you into the calibration screen. Press sensor and look at the magnetic sensor. There is a black circle with an initially red line and a digit zero displayed. This must turn green and a digit three displayed. Perform a series of figure inverted eights until this is shown. Failure to carry this out will have incorrect direction information shown on the x app. You will not know the orientation or correct position of the drone, especially at a distance. Step 3. Ensure your controller is correctly connected to the smartphone device. The cable is marked TX and phone. Step 4. Power up the Hubson Xeno Pro by pressing and holding the power button. A short tune will confirm power up. Place the drone on a level to secure surface. With the smartphone switched on and unlocked, now power up the Hubson controller by pressing and holding the centre button until a beep confirms power up. The controller will now auto open the X Hubson app. The Xabson app will now show a drone selection option. Choose Xeno Pro, then press Enter Device. The controller will now attempt to connect with the drone and the camera image will be displayed. At this point, flight is not possible until you enter the top right settings and scroll down to Bind Aircraft to Current Device. After successful binding, you will be prompted to carry out a compass calibration test. This must not be skipped as it is a fundamental to safe and stable flight. Follow this procedure outdoors in a clear space and with no magnetic interference. Now ensuring the drone is on a level surface free from any magnetic influences i.e. not on the roof of your car I use a smartphone with a spirit level installed which I place on top of the drone to check they do remove before actually doing the calibration process. You are now ready to carry out a horizontal calibration. This will ensure the drone flies level and stable. In the X Hubson app, press top right settings, then select the drone symbol on the bottom left of the screen. Now select horizontal calibration. A confirmation will show when completed and the on-screen drone horizon indicator will now be seen to be level and centralised. Now select the camera symbol, also on the left side of the screen, and select Start Gimbal Calibration. The gimbal will now be level. At this stage you will be prompted to restart the drone. Do not leave the x absent app, though power down the drone by pressing the power button for a couple of seconds, then re-power up, and wait for the x absent app to reconnect automatically. 
This should only take a few seconds, or maybe 10 or 20 seconds. It is worth noting that when changing batteries, the same power up procedure, or say power down procedure, should I say, can be applied. The X Habs and NAP will auto reconnect. Before flight, follow the binding sequence. Usually, only the compass calibration is required to be regularly set, especially if flying from a new location. Horizontal and gimbal should be fine once set. The Hubs and Xeno Pro is now ready for flight, as shown by a green ready for flight text in the top of the screen.